Um, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm uh, you know, healthy. Um, just looking forward to get to Norway and, and compete. Yeah, I know uh, during the team trials, a lot of the national riders were saying that they felt that you looked the best that they've seen you maybe ever. How, how would you personally kind of assess where you're, you're at wrestling-wise right now? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like I'm wrestling the best I have, you know, possibly ever, you know, definitely in a long time. But, uh, you know, I, uh, I'm just kind of, you know, my training's been going really well the last couple months, and, you know, a lot of, a lot of that's shown, you know, it, it showed at the World Team Trials. Up some weight from your Olympic trials. Is this a more comfortable weight to you? It's obviously closer to what you wrestled in college. Uh, yeah, you know, 133, 134. That's, you know, it's pretty uh, an optimal weight for me. It's uh, I don't have to, I don't have to kill myself making weight, which is you know that's always nice. And uh, I definitely you know feel good when I'm out there wrestling. Does it kind of feel like wrestling is is back in a sense? You, you obviously had a more, you know rough last year than anybody but it doesn't feel like it's back getting to go to Norway and getting all this stuff to, to actually happen yeah yeah I mean it was definitely fun to you know go competing in you know it was uh, I took a little bit of time off after the after the trials which it was nice but you know I got back to training and it was just fun to you know go out there and compete again and you know I'm looking forward to looking forward to the college season because I'm going to be able to you know compete every weekend again which you know I haven't got to do that in you know about two years so it's a uh, I'm definitely, you know, it's going to be an exciting time. What was the mental process like for you after the Olympic trials, after falling short of, you know, your, your dream of trying to be an Olympian? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's definitely not easy, but, you know, I just, you know, I know God has a plan for me. And, you know, I always, I keep that in mind. And, you know, that helps me, you know, move forward. And, you know, I can't, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to dwell on the past. And it's, the uh, only thing I can do is, you know, continue to get better. And, you know, I know that if I keep living the lifestyle that I live, that I'm going to have a great opportunity to achieve my goals. You guys are getting a new locker room. I imagine that's really exciting for you. Yeah, very exciting. It's uh, We just moved over to our, our temporary locker room, so it's uh, you know it's it's happening real quick, and it's uh, we're all excited for it. It's going to be uh, you know a big upgrade for us. How beneficial do you think that can be for not only you guys, but then the, the future of the program, Brandon Friedson and stuff like that? Yeah, it's a... Uh, you know, we're supposed to, it's going to be the, the nicest locker room in the country. So anytime that you have, you know, the best locker room and, you know, the best facilities, it's uh, it can definitely help with recruiting. And uh, I'm uh, you know, look forward to, to checking it out whenever I, I – hope it's probably not going to be done when I get back from Norway, but here in the next couple months. Uh, reports are coming out today that Iowa is expected to uh, announce a women's wrestling program, first one in Power 5, D1. I know we've talked about Oklahoma State's wanting to possibly do that down the road. I mean, how, how significant is that seeing women's wrestling becoming a Power Five um, program throughout the country? Yeah, it's a uh, it's huge for for women's wrestling. It's a uh, you know women's wrestling. It's really taken off here here recently, and you know you saw it. You know the women's team's performance at the Olympics. You know we wrestled really well, and it's a uh, you know it's a good sign that you know. Women's wrestling, it's you know taking that next step in college wrestling. Now, over, over the weekend, uh, you had a, a former Sand Springs native, son of, of Sand Springs, uh, join the program. With with the history that, that you and, and Carter have going back to, to, to Tulsa area, what, what was it like uh, when you heard that he was moving back to Stillwater? Uh, you know, I'm, I was really excited that you know to hear that he's coming back and going to be a cowboy. It's a uh, you know I've, I've I've said it a couple of times, but I've wrestled with with Carter for since he was in the fourth, fifth grade. So it's a uh, it's gonna be fun, you know. We've we trained a little bit. He was in town for before the World Team Trials, and I got to wrestle around with him a little bit then. And then I've you know got to wrestle with him a couple more times now that he's back. And it's a uh, it's always always fun, you know, rolling around with him because we've you know we've uh, we've wrestled so so many times together just as as he's grown up and. You know, I've helped him, so it's a, uh, it's always a good time whenever we get to get to practice with each other, and it's gonna happen a whole lot more now that he's here. Well, and you got to compete against him at the, the trials. Yeah. How how did you feel his performance was against you? Oh, it was. Uh, I mean, he wrestled wrestled awesome. He wrestled awesome the whole tournament, and uh, you know, I know it was probably easier for me to wrestle him than other people because I, you know, I know who he is, and 
and I've wrestled him so often, so many times. So it's a uh, he the way he he competed, you know, on my backside was you know it was really special to see. You know, he beat two national champions and another national finalist. So it's a uh, it was awesome, you know, especially someone that young to go go to the World Cup Trials and compete like that. When you go on these to these international tournaments, how much do you get to take in the culture? Is it all kind of business? What, what's that like? Uh, so, you know, most of the time, every time I've I've wrestled in the World Championships, I'm always the last day in competition. So I, I don't have a whole lot of time to, you know, go and go and explore and, you know, check everything out. But this time I'm actually, I wrestle on the first day of competition. So I'll have a couple of days after the tournament's over to, to, you know, explore and check out, check out Norway. So I'm definitely excited for that. Is there anything you're, you're looking forward to? You've done any research before? Uh, no, just really just focusing on, on the wrestling part of it. But I'm sure once once I'm done wrestling, I'll, uh, I'll find something to do. Have you looked at your, your field yet? Have, you know, have you started kind of assessing what, what the, that's going to look like for you? Um, yeah, my, you know, my coaches, they've, they've been you know, watching matches and stuff. I don't, I don't usually watch, you know, me personally, I don't watch a whole lot of film, but my coaches always do, and they, that way I, you know, I just kind of know, you know, people's tendencies and stuff like that. I don't, I always want to focus more on what I'm doing rather than what they're doing. And I feel like whenever I do that, it uh, just helps me, you know, wrestle my match more than I'm wrestling, you know, what they're doing. Are, are any of the, the Cowboy coaches going with? Or yeah, I assume your um, dad's going. Yeah, my dad's going to go, and I think uh, Coach Esposito is going to go with me too. So that's going to be, uh, be awesome. Any other questions?